You know, in the wake of one movie, <laughs> the Batgirl, uh, that got canceled and whatever because you know WB came out and said we didn't believe in the film. We were rolling to put out films we believe in. We're not going to put out films we don't believe in. Blah blah. Everybody lost their mind believing that everything was going to get canceled. But you can kind of forgive that a little bit because the axe of Zaslav has been sharp, and it's it swift. has been swift. I mean, thank God they killed. Uh, I mean, there's a lot of projects they killed where it's like thank God they killed that and all that kind of stuff. But the back when the back girl went though, people started wondering. Well. Is Peacemaker going to get axed? And James Gunn's like, relax, everybody, Peacemaker's fine. Is this going to get axed? Everything's going to get axed and all that kind of stuff. But one of the big things that people were wondering about, understandably, was Blue Beetle. What's the status of Blue Beetle? And, you know, Rob, you and I kind of speculate, because we didn't have any official information, but we speculate that, guys, we thought Blue Beetle was totally safe because, you know, to them, to them, I haven't seen Batgirl, but to them, Batgirl was not good enough to put out. But they clearly like Blue Beetle because they already months ago promoted Blue Beetle from being a direct to HBO Max thing to a actual theatrical release. So you and I kind of speculate with we kind of feel this one's probably pretty damn safe. They've already given it a vote of confidence. Well, now, according to reports coming out, particularly by The Hollywood Reporter and others, they Warner Brothers has completely assured everybody that Blue Beetle is number one, a okay. So is everything by James Gunn. This is what was said in the Hollywood Reporter. They said some key collaborators uh, have reached have been. Re Let me try this again. Some key collaborators with Warner Brothers have received assurances that their projects are absolutely safe. The Suicide Squad filmmaker James Gunn has multiple projects in development at DC, including season two of Peacemaker, which is moving forward. Insiders also say that Blue Beetle filmmakers have been assured with, I've always mispronounced his last name, you got to forgive me, uh, Zolo uh, Mari Duena of DC's latest superhero top line movie, uh, Blue Beetle, is on track for an August 2023 release. So that one year from now, one year from now. So with all the worry that came out initially that, oh my God, they're going to start canceling everything. Uh, it seems like they're taking some tangible steps to come and say, no, 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 no. We like these movies. These movies are coming out and they're kind of propping those up. Rob, so it sounds now like Warner Brothers is definitively saying, yeah, yeah, Blue Beetle's to totally safe. It's coming out one year from now. Are you surprised to hear that? Is it reassuring to hear that? And where's your anticipation level like for this movie right now? It's not surprising because it was supposed to be like a direct to HBO Max film and Initially, then they promoted yeah. it. So it, it, in, it, it's the uh, reverse of what happened with Batgirl and that they've seen the film. It's strong enough to be a theatrical release. So, I mean, that's reassuring. And um, I, I, you know, <laughs> I would think that that even Blue Beetle is a character that not as many people would know or be as attracted to as a Batgirl movie. So it means it's even that much better. So I'm glad. I'm glad to hear about this. I'm I'm glad that they're there. I've always liked Blue Beetle when he was Ted Cord in this new iteration of Blue Beetle. I like the character. Mm -hmm. So I'm I'm excited. I, I I actually I never thought I'd be excited for a Blue Beetle movie without like Booster Gold. But hey, right. here we yeah. are. You know, I mean, I, I I'm I'm excited. And for a long time, like we're going back years now. But years ago, there was a lot of buzz that they were the old regime at Warner Brothers. They were really looking at a Booster Gold Blue Beetle yeah. movie. Nathan and, Fillion and Alan Tudyk doing it. Oh my god, it, that would have been, been super fun. Oh, so fun. Now, of course, that one died on the vine a yeah. long, 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 long time ago. But still, anyway, Chris, you're hearing this report. What stands out to you? I think that it's great that they believe in this film so much. That makes me really, really excited about this, especially because Jaime is a character who really did come front and center once Young Justice, or not, uh, Justice League Unlimited and Young Justice brought it yeah. up. Young Justice, Jaime's at the center of this very, very big story with the Scarab and all these different aliens coming into play. Um, and that's how I mostly knew about him because Ted is the one that I was familiar with yeah, as well. Yeah, Ted Core. And Jaime's a super, super interesting character. It always makes me think of you, Ray, with how you love Nova and everything and these younger characters who kind of have to just like deal with the burden of responsibility and great power. And I think that's going that's to appeal to a lot of- That's Ray. I mean, that's Ray in a, yeah. in a nutshell right there. The burden <laughs> of responsibility burden and power. The burden of responsibility and being eternally youthful. <laughs> Look, uh, the Injustice game, Blue Be Beetle, I was telling the chat, had some really cool moves. If yeah. any of those show up on screen, I'm so down. I'm All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? Have you been looking forward to the Blue Beetle? I mean, Blue Beetle's not one of the most well-known of the DC characters, but it's got to be a vote of confidence knowing that the studio's like, yeah, we're killing movies that we don't think are good, but we really do like this one. Do you feel better about that? Maybe you think it's still on shaky ground. Whatever you guys think, jump down in the comment section below and let us know 
your thoughts. Hey guys, we want to take a second to thank the sponsor of this video, HelloFresh. With HelloFresh, you get farm fresh pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your doorstep. Skip trips to the grocery store and count on HelloFresh to make home cooking easy, fun, and affordable. And that's why it's America's number one meal kit. HelloFresh's quick and easy recipes, 20-minute meals, and low prep, low cleanup options provide an even faster route to putting food on the table around your packed schedule. You need another reason to stay in for dinner? HelloFresh is 72% cheaper than dining at a restaurant and is even cheaper than grocery shopping. That's money back in your pocket. Guys, Ann and I love HelloFresh. You know, we're both working professionals, so when the end of the day comes along, we're both so tired and frazzled and trying to figure out what to do for dinner. Most of the time, we just end up running out for dinner, which is expensive. But when we've got HelloFresh, it gives us a fun activity to do together, making quick, delicious meals and easy to clean up. We love it. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Campia16 and use the code Campia16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. That's HelloFresh.com slash Campia16 using the promo code Campia16 for 16 free meals across seven boxes and three free gifts. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit.